I'm going to do some basic arm bars from Pose Guard. Uh, there's actually quite a few variations. Uh, I'm not going to run through all of them, but I'll show you a couple of different grips that you can potentially use for both gi and no gi. And then a lot of it's just really the same concepts around it that, that applies. Um, so with regards to any type of joint lock, one of the primary concepts is that if I'm going to armbar you, so if that's the joint that I'm attacking, I need to control the two joints on either side of the joint that I'm attacking. Um, with the armbar, the way we control the wrist is to have um, control of the hand and the thumb and the position of the thumb. So you'll see when I grab the hand, I'm always making sure that the thumb is facing up. Uh, the way you control the shoulder is largely how your legs connect with your opponent's body and then the distance between your hip and his shoulder. So if that distance increases or is, is too large, then what happens is that the arm bar comes, becomes very shallow and they kind of get to that point and as soon as the elbow is clear, then uh, the arm bar is off. So ideally you want to be really high into that armpit area. Okay, so I'll shoot this from a couple of positions. So if we're here and say Nikki has grabbed onto my sleeve or onto my collar, I'll grab his sleeve and then what I can do, so I can either go cross grip here, cross grip, and then grab into the back over here. So almost like where his, his armpit is. From here, I'm going to start climbing the guard and I'm going to put my foot on his hip. So the first movement is there, foot onto the hip. My knee squeezes in, so it supports that, that trapping of the arm. So if Nicky tries to pull the arm out, it's much hard, harder for him to do so. From there, this leg, I want to climb up and almost chop into his armpit. So I'm in that position, from there, I can push the head, throw the leg over, control the hand, thumb up, and then I'm driving. So I like to activate my feet here, squeeze the knees, and then I drive my feet to the mat. Okay. So as I'm doing that, my hip is engaging as it's pushing up into his arm. Okay, another way of gripping. I'm actually going to move it, let's move positions to here, cool, so we can shut. Another way of grouping, I might go, I'm in same side there, I'm going to do a cross grip, yeah, do a cross grip. So if I'm in same side, the same side grip, I can reach over, grab onto the cloth here, pull that in, Grab onto his jacket over there, so I'm pulling the posture down. Foot onto his hip, I squeeze the knee in, which locks that arm into position. In this leg, I throw high, up into the armpit. From there, I push the head, catch, control the thumb, squeeze knees, last feet. Okay. If this was a no-gi variation, a no-gi variation might be I grab across the arm, I reach up, I grab, there's normally like a little ridge here on the, on the back. So I hook my fingers into that ridge and I pull him down. Put onto the hip, squeeze him, create the angle, chop, push the head, throw the leg, squeeze the knees, activate the feet. Drive to the floor. And then as a, as a bonus one, this is a little bit more of an advanced armbar. It could be I've controlled his posture, I'm holding his posture down. He starts trying to regain posture, so maybe he puts his hand onto, onto my chest. This hand. I dive under his leg and I come up into the armbar position here, catch, 